Now let us talk about few applications of determinants in coordinate geometry. The first application is area of triangle is given and whose vertices are x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. Then how do you find the area of triangle? Area of triangle is denoted by delta is equal to half of the determinant x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1 and x3, y3, 1. So it's basically all the vertices and one more column is 1, 1, 1. And when you split it, you can also, <clears throat> when you, when you split it, you can also remember it like this. That is half into x1, y2 minus y3 plus x2, y3 minus y1 plus x3, y1 minus y2. So for this, you have a trick actually. <clears throat> that is, all the vertices x1, x2, x3 will be outside and inner it will be the y coordinates. So the trick over here is, it is first 1, 2, 3. Next, it follows the order 2, 3, 1. Next, it is 3, 1, 2. So in this way, you can also remember how to find the area of triangle formula. Theorems are not important, just remember the formula. That is enough for your competitive exams. The next application is related to the equation of straight line. And here the points are given that is x1, y1 and x2, y2. So here the equation of straight line will be x, y, 1. Next we will use the two points that is x1, y1, x2, y2 and these two will be 1 and 1. And this is equal to 0. When we simplify this we will get a equation of straight line. The third application is related to the concurrent lines. If three lines, those are a1x plus b1y plus c1, a2x plus b2y plus c2 and a3x plus b3y plus c3 equal to 0, these three lines are said to be concurrent only if the determinant of all these things, that is a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3. If this determinant value is 0, then only these three lines are said to be concurrent. The next application is, it's related to the pair of straight lines. So, this equation represents a pair of straight lines. Then, ABC plus 2FGH minus A square minus BG square minus CH square is said to be equal to 0. And this whole thing can be represented in this way also. That is A, B, C will be the diagonal elements and here H, next G and next F. This is nothing but, the determinant value is nothing but this. So equal to 0. Next, it's related to the equation of circle. Through three non-collinear points that are X1, Y1 x2 comma y2 and x3 comma y3 so how do we find this is x square plus y square x1 square plus y1 square x2 square plus y2 square x3 square plus y3 square don't worry this is a determinant of order 4 but if questions related to this will come then i'll tell you how to solve this it's basically you need to eliminate either one, one row and one column and find the determinant. So this is how we'll find the equation of circle. So these are the few applications of determinants in coordinate geometry. So let's solve few questions. In this question, three lines are given to you and they are said to be concurrent and we need to find the which condition is correct. So, if we compare these three lines with A1, B1, C1 and all, 
will get a1 is nothing but a over here b1 is nothing but b c1 is c a2 is b b2 is c and c2 is a a3 is c b3 is a and c3 is b so what is the condition for the concurrent lines that is a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 determinant should be equal to 0 so let's use this a1 is nothing but a next a2 is b a3 is c next b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c equal to 0 so from here we will get it as a b c minus a square minus b i'm just expanding this determinant plus c a b minus c square equal to c so from here we can write it as simplifying it after that a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3 a b c now we need to more simplify it how so this can be written as a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c equal to 0 and a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a equal to 0 and from here we'll get two cases that is a plus b plus c equal to 0 and a square plus b square plus c square is equal to a b plus b c plus c a so if you see the options it is a multiple correct options so option a and option b are correct to this question let's see some special determinants over here first one is the symmetric determinant and a determinant is called a symmetric determinant if for its every element a i j a should be equal to a j i for all i comma j which means for example a b c h g f this is called as a symmetric determinant why if you see a i j element like a11 is nothing but a over here a12 a12 equal to a21 a1 j a i j equal to a12 equal to a21 that is equal to h so here a i j equal to a j i similarly a13 equal to a31 equal to g. Here also it satisfies aij should be equal to aji. Next, a23 equal to a32 equal to f. So this is called as a symmetric determinant. Next, it is skew symmetric determinant. Here, a determinant is called a skew symmetric determinant if for its every element satisfies this condition that is a i j should be equal to minus of a j i for all i comma j and here the main thing is every diagonal element of skew symmetric determinant is always a zero for example 0 3 minus 1 minus 3 0 5 1 minus 5 0 if you observe the diagonal elements. What are the diagonal elements over here? Those are A11, A22, A33. These are the diagonal elements and all these three diagonal elements are equal to 0 and A12 is equal to minus of A21. Right? 3 is equal to minus 3. It's satisfying this condition. Similarly, A13 is negative of A31 and a23 is negative of a32 so this is an example of skew symmetric determinant and what is the one more condition is it's not a condition it's kind of a note the value of skew symmetric determinant of even order 
is always a perfect square, whereas if it is an odd order, then it is always a zero. So let's see an example for this. Odd order, just we have seen that if you calculate the determinant value of this, zero times something will be zero. It is like minus three, zero, minus five, minus one, 15, minus zero. So when you calculate its determinant, it becomes 15 minus 15, that is equal to zero. And this is an order of order three. So it's an odd order. So the determinant value is zero. So let's see the even order example. Uh, so 0, A minus A is 0. Is it a skew symmetric? Yes, because diagonal elements are 0 and A12 is negative of A21. So it is a skew symmetric. Let's calculate its determinant value. It becomes A square. 0 minus into minus plus A square. So it here it is a perfect square. So, the determinant value of even order, this is of order 2, is always a perfect square, whereas for odd order, it is always a 0. In this question, we need to find the value of the determinant value. So, let's first write the values of this elements, that is A11 is equal to A22 equal to A33 R0. Next, A12 is i minus 100 and a13 is i minus 500. Next a21 is 100 minus iota which can also be written as if you take minus out common i minus 100 which is nothing but minus of a12. And next a23 that is this element that is 1000 minus iota next a31 that is 500 minus iota if you take minus common it becomes minus of iota minus 500 this is nothing but negative of a13 so a31 is negative of a13 and next a32 which is iota minus 1000 and if you take negative outside 1000 minus iota so it's negative of a23 so if you clearly observe over here, all the diagonal elements are equal to 0 and Aij is equal to negative of Aji. Right. So, it is a skew symmetric determinant. The given determinant is a skew symmetric. Hence, the determinant value will be 0. Why 0? Because it is an order of 3, which is an odd order. So, hence the determinant value will be 0. Hence, option D is the correct answer to this question.